So, the viral Dubai chocolate craze has reached Europe. What makes the bar so special? 4,000 miles to try one of the pistachio cream bars. Pistachio is like everywhere here on Malta too. Uh, honestly, I don't really know if it's anywhere else, but uh, we'll look it up. Let me look it up. Pistachio coffee. It is like... Um, it is like everywhere. Like fuck everywhere now and i don't know why all of a sudden if it's just late or malta may have how latte art yeah i see pistachio tiramisu but when i type in pistachio coffee i don't find anything so maybe it's just even it's yeah i see it everywhere in malta here now it's like yeah yeah uh yeah hundreds of shoppers have lined up for hours <laughs> equipped with camping stools and rain gear for a chocolate bar oh my god remember when prime remember when prime uh, drove people is saying they're all going in droves now it's all for the Dubai chocolate them chocolate gillespie chocolate the bar, which has gone viral on social media, features a crunchy mixture of chocolate, pistachio cream, and a crispy phyllo dough that is better known for its use in baklava. Early this month, Deliveroo revealed the bar had taken the top spot for the most trending dish globally. I mean, I could imagine that people wanted to try it, but it's it's like I just see it everywhere. It's just because people can get clout from it because it's so popular. That's why they're all making these videos too. Like, mm, look at me trying the bar. <laughs> Dubai's fixed dessert chocolate can't get enough out of it, which is only available via the Deliver US UA platform. It's racked up more than 90 million views on TikTok with some customers boasting they had traveled 4,000 miles to try one. Not gonna lie, I. Uh, uh. Oh, okay, now that I haven't seen before. This is not how it looks in all these videos. Ew! It just looks creamy! I thought it was more... It's no more crispy, right? Yeah, that's just a chocolate bar with pistachio cream in it. No, 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 This is not what the bar looked like. Girl, you've been scammed. Or did it? Maybe I just... Oh, yeah, it did look like that. Never mind. I always thought it looked more crispy, so... Oh, okay. Why is people so crazy about them? Yeah, see, if you look at it here, to me, it, it looks a lot more crispy in that video, at least. But I guess it just depends on who... Who makes it. My bad, then. Um, my mistake. But yeah, now that I look better at it, just pistachio cream. What's so special about it, then? Unless the, the chocolate is made differently. This is just plain old chocolate with pistachio in it. I mean... I should try it before I can say what it is, but I thought it was the the flakiness and stuff that was inside. But now looking at it, it just looks like a blob of pistachio cream. Ugh. Definitely not something that I will like, I think. I'm not a big fan of pistachio. I think Gloria might like that. You like pistachio, right? Lind executives want to show the nearly 180-year-old Swiss chocolatier can mix it up with a product first concocted by an Emirati upstart and expand the boundaries of a centuries-old industry largely dominated by European companies. It's a hype, a trend on social media, with people waiting in long lines. Yeah, that, that's just insane, bro. It's chocolate. <laughs> like... But yeah, that's what I say, you know, people want to be in line so that they can take the bar, make a video, and get the cloud of it, too, you know? It's popular. Um, student from Malaysia after exiting the Lynn store in Aachen on Tuesday. Oh, Aachen. You want to try it out here and be part of it. Exactly, you know, the FOMO, be part of the thing. You can't blame anyone for that, I guess. After crossing a rope line to enter the Lynn store, Lion and others were welcomed by staffers in white cook's outfits and matching chef hats and held a sample squares of chocolate. They could then move on into the store to buy a single bar per person, each bearing a unique number to add a flavor of exclusivity. See? That's quite cool. Yeah, so they could move into the store and then they could buy one bar per person and every bar had a unique number which added a tiny flavor of exclusivity. Yeah, but now that I'm reading this, yeah, but no, my brain, 
I, I am fucking dumb today, apparently. I read that as each bar had a unique kind of flavor to it. But no, they're just saying it adds a flavor of exclusivity. No, the bar just had a number. I, I thought that they added a little exclusive flavor. I Now that I'm reading it to you, I'm like, oh no, stupid brain. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I don't do YouTube videos. <laughs> if I didn't have my partner. <laughs> Anyway, the sweet treats were first introduced in 2021 by startup Fix Dessert Chocolate J in the United Arab Emirates. And they have since grown in popularity, helped by influencers on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, <laughs> Late on Saturday, began releasing a limited number of 1,000 of the novel chocolate bars in select shops in Germany. And a similar campaign is set to start this weekend in Switzerland. Okay, cool. Hopeful that the fusion of Middle Eastern treats and traditional chocolate will make chocolate more appealing to palates beyond the Europe. Doesn't everyone eat chocolate? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, what do you mean? It will make it more. Why are they making it out like this is the biggest thing? Like, chocolate is gonna take over the world now. Jesus Christ, people forget about this within two weeks. I mean, uh, I guess chocolate maybe in, in, in Asia isn't as prominent, but I've seen a, I mean, I, I know Asia is eaten a lot in Europe, duh, in America, duh, in Africa, duh. So, I mean... I guess. A fusion of Middle Eastern treats and traditional chocolate. I mean, but I guess they do the palates beyond Europe. I guess they just mean people who are not a big fan of chocolate. You know, it just, they sound so far up their own ass. Jesus Christ. Um, well, I never read The Independent. Probably a lot of hate if anyone watches this video. The Independent's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't read this newspaper. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess for people who don't like chocolate in general, but I don't know why... That would change it because it's in general in stock here cream quite sweet too. I mean again I haven't tasted the bar. Some said they just wanted to be part of the trend, makes sense. It's juicy inside, but also crunchy. I think it's the strands of the angle hair. How would you say that? The angel hair. The strands of the angle hair. <laughs> this is why I don't do videos anymore. <laughs> angel hair. Yeah, I do need to start reading more English again though, because I do way too much Dutch lately and I do notice uh that I haven't read enough English it's impacting my ability. Uh, 20 year old student asked Karik who raved about the tree's texture after waiting for more than 3 hours to get inside. I'm here because I've never been in such a release event and I wanted to experience the release of a limited edition. Makes sense. Good on you Esco. You're right, you know, no one should blame you for that. Um, okay, I think I think that's cool. I don't know what you all think about the Dubai chocolate bar. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, stay on, have a good day, hope you're all happy, and ciao ciao!